Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the We Search YouTube channel. My name is Jay Isaiah from the channel, Jay Isaiah. So hopefully you saw my Holy Grail video, which was posted probably a month ago. Now this video is called Back of My Makeup Drawer. So this is my makeup drawer and all the way in the back I have a few products that you know, just don't mesh well with me anymore. <laughs> but before we get started, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, hit that subscribe button so you <laughs> see all the content from WeSearch, and turn on that post notification so as soon as we hit submit, it pops up on your phone. Great, right? The first item on my back of my makeup drawer list, that's gonna get a lot to say, of the BB, uh, B B O M. MD, back of my makeup drawer, B-O-M-M-D. There you go, B-O-M-M-D, got it. So the first item in my B-O-M-M-D is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Coco. So I don't want to give Wet n Wild a bad name because a lot of the products in this broadcast are from Wet n Wild and that's because when I first started doing makeup, I wanted to do a full face using one brand. Of course, I wasn't passionate about makeup yet so I didn't want to spend a ton of money so I bought all Wet n Wild products. This literally looks like chalk on my skin. Um, I don't know what the formula is, I don't know if it's because I wasn't prepping right. There's a lot of variables that could give this some grace but I'm gonna give it a trash bag. <laughs> the next product, and I wanted to love this product because I can't find a bronzer for my skin tone. If you know one, put it in the comments below, please. It is the Pop Beauty Prismatic Pop Illuminating Powder Bronze Boom. It sounds like it's a great product. I can't even open this right now because literally when it says Bronze Boom, it literally exploded in the packaging. It's literally all powder when it was like a cute little dome at first. It's supposed to be a bronzer. It has like a pink undertone to it, which I didn't understand. I think that was making it like the prismatic, like the metallic look. So it's kind of like a shimmery bronzer, which I'm not too fond of because why would you want to highlight your texture everywhere on your face. If I want to be a bronze god and put this all over my face, I'm actually going to be a textured pink queen. So, we're gonna have to do without this one. My next BOMMD product is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. So, if you guys know me by now, I am an eyeshadow fanatic. That is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I mean, I love it. This was supposed to make my eyeshadows pop. You promised that you would make my eyeshadows pop and that you would make them blend out nicely and all you did was not do that. It made my eyeshadows patchy. It um, did not help them blend. It, I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I used it two times and both times my eyeshadow looks looked like trash and I was like, no, 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 Milani. Back to the back of the makeup drawer. My next item is the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. So I'm pretty sure that this product works well. Uh, it's just not in my shade. As I talked about in my Holy Grail video, if you haven't seen that, check it out. Contour shades are really difficult for me to find with a deeper skin complexion, and I'm not the deepest color. When I got this, I thought the highlighting shade was a little too light, like it's almost like a milk light sand color. And then the contour shade was, oh, now that I'm looking at this, this is definitely peach and not brown. So. This one is at the back of my makeup drawer because of my fault. I bought the wrong contour stick. I really thought this was brown. This is definitely peach. The next item is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow Individuals. I like creative looks and I'm always looking for like really bold colors, really creamy colors. And I saw this one which was too cool, which was like a really, really deep, milky, velvety white. So I thought that was super dope. And this one was inked in pink, which had the similar velvety tone, but it was like a light baby pink. These literally ruined. An eyeshadow look that I was working on for like 45 minutes, like on, like not each eye, between both eyes, 45 minutes. Then I popped this on as my lid color, and when I tell you blending nightmare, the product got stuck in the brush, started clumping in the brush, it started to get this weird film, then it picked up shadow from like my crease, and then it started to get real muddy and dirty. No, 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 no. I think I more so put these in the back of my makeup drawer because of it ruining a 45 minute eyeshadow look, but I may try to use them again somewhere else on my face since I do like creative looks, but 
not for the lids. I mean, it says eyeshadow on it and it did shade me, so. So the last two products I have in the back of my makeup drawer are from Wet n Wild again, and I'm sure Wet n Wild is a great brand. I've seen full face tutorials on YouTube and they've been amazing. It just does not mesh well for me. So the first product is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder in the shade Matte About You. When I tell you, like literally, where's the product? Like, you have to dig deep to get any product on your finger, and then it chips away, like kind of like dandruff. So it feels like chalk, it kind of looks like chalk. I, I, I'm just not feeling it. I try to put it on my face, immediate flashback. I look like an ashy ghost. I look like Casper's best friend. I looked like milk. I looked like <laughs> pebbles on a white sand beach. Girl, I was ghostly, ghastly, shook. Shaking, trembling, no, 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 no. The other product is the Wet n Wild Finny Matte Finishing Spray. So I figured why not get the finishing spray with the powder? <sighs> Literally made the powder clump into little beads. Maybe they're not supposed to go together. I don't know why a brand would make two products within the same line that don't go together, but that's just me. Um, I'm gonna stick to my Scandinavia setting spray and definitely stick to that. Back of the makeup drawer! Child. Well, that's all for the back of my makeup drawer items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any back of the makeup drawer items that you just like don't like that are in your collection that you went out and bought, Put them in the comments below, I would love to see them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna check out more content from me, all of my social media information will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out the Wee Pinions on all of these products on research.com. I hope you guys have an amazing day and stay beautiful. Jay-Z signing out, peace.